Good morning, folks. Today we've got a serious space weather whack from only a moderate to minor solar wind stream. The earth facing quiet continues. Our earthquake baseline is back down to lower levels now that we're between coronal holes, and we've got new umbral development on the western quadrants. We also show the earth spot lows ready to take on the U.S., Europe, and Southwest Pacific tonight. First, we'll come to spaceweathernews.com, though, and peek in on the last day of our star. We're finding, yet again, pure stability and calm. No big flashes, no eruptive events, just some dark coronal holes and filaments. Even within the large writhing plasma filament that we've kept our eyes on here, the motion never destabilized, and as of this morning, that enormous rope is still there. Looking on coronagraph shows a sizable CME heading north there. It actually came from the far side of the sun, the huge sunspot that disappeared a couple days ago, made only one M flare while on the Earth-facing disk, has let loose in a tremendous flare and filament release CME, opposite way from Earth. X-ray flux shows the flat-lined Earth-facing solar flare readings. It's not that we lack sunspots, but they lack the magnetic character required for flaring. Small ones incoming in a newly born active region to the right, which does indeed already begin to push delta-class magnetism, but he was born on his way out of Earth-facing positions, likely won't put anything our way either. Solar wind, more intensification events the last day with density shocks followed by speedier streams, only a short level 1 geomagnetic storm cropped up globally, but on a more localized scale we saw storms hit as high as level 3. That's from Karuna. The stream responsible for the storms belonged to that departing dark coronal hole to the right. The incomers to the left represent southern negative fields and will ramp back up the earthquakes that have been absent these couple days between earth-facing holes here followed a couple days later by its own solar wind stream, which does take a bit longer to arrive than the magnetic field influences and EM energy. Folks, on yesterday's Fly on the Wall podcast, we discussed cosmic strings, galaxies and quasars aligned over light years of space, strange patterns across the universe, and what they all have in common. That came after the Earth and Sun rundown, which included a recap of the number one risk to Earth, the solar kill shot, as made more likely by Earth's weakening magnetic field. Pressure and radar forecast here, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.